Right, my TR4. The uh, I'm having a bit of a problem when the engine is hot. I'm uh, getting a bit of a flutter, as if uh, I'm not getting enough fuel, and I, th I think it might be the the little valve that's inside here. First of all, you've got the three screws at the top. I take those off and take the uh, take it out. I'll change both. Okay, I've taken off the fuel. Uh, from the tops of both of them. Uh, you notice that I've got two carburetors the same hand but I, I've explained this before. Uh, I've had a bit of a problem but it, it, I've got both the same hand and uh, I'll just, just take the tops off and then I'll show you how. You can see that there's a fuel in the fuel chamber and it, it's not full to the top. Sometimes if the valve is sticking that will come right up and overflow so the, the valve is actually doing its job but I'm, I'm afraid it might be sticking rather than I'm not getting enough in at certain Now this chamber here, that, that it's upside down obviously that, when that, the fuel rises it pushes that up and it closes this valve and gravity obviously will allow it to, to come down so you can see it working like that um, but sometimes they do stick in but I'm going to change this anyway. What I've got to do now is take this pin out to allow me to take the float off so I can get access to this. Now there's the, there it is there that you can see I just lift that out. You can't get it out without taking the pin out. The point there looks fine. It's, it's a little near preen. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's probably perfectly all right, but I'll change it anyway. Um, 516 uh, long there and that just snap that out and or not <laughs> not screwed out and uh, put a new one in for the time it takes it's not worth uh, messing around there's the new one supplied by Moss uh, it, it was an M10 to put that in for some reason but uh, you see the center is spring loaded on that um, already that uh, comes down nicely Yeah, comes down nicely, so that's ready to go back in. This is the second one out, and the second one out, and it looks to be sticking a little bit there. That should, I know the the pressure of the fuel will push push it out, but that is a little bit sticky. So I'll change that one. I'll obviously, change. While everything's out, it's an ideal opportunity to give it a good clean up. While I brush it and uh, polish it up. That's um, both back in now. I've started the engine, uh, the fuel is flowing nicely. Just one thing, uh, the new jet that I put in um, was with a 9mm, uh, not a 10 But uh, all 